Proton is a framework that allows developers to declaratively specify multi-touch gestures. Here is an overview of the framework. Using Proton, developers design a multi-touch gesture graphically by arranging touch sequences on horizontal tracks. Proton converts the graphical notation into a regular expression of touch event symbols. When Proton matches the expression with a touch event stream, the application executes callbacks associated with the expression. Now let's look at the framework in more detail. Proton generates a stream of touch event symbols from user input. A multi-touch gesture is a regular expression that describes a sequence of touch events. For example, these regular expressions describe a shape translation gesture performed with one touch, a rotation gesture performed with two touches, and a scale gesture also performed with two touches. Proton then performs gesture recognition by comparing the gesture regular expressions with the input stream. Here, the system detects that the input stream has matched the translation gesture, but not the rotation or scale gestures. Proton can also inform developers of conflicts between gestures at compile time. By intersecting the state machines of the corresponding expressions, Proton discovers that rotation conflicts with translation only while the first touch is down and moving. But it conflicts entirely with the scale gesture. Given this information, the developer might either modify the scale gesture or implement conflict resolution logic. To simplify gesture creation, Proton allows developers to build gesture tablatures, a graphical notation for specifying gestures. Take this rotation gesture for example. The first touch comes down on the star, and the second touch comes down anywhere. Both touches can move and then come up in any order. To build a gesture tablature, the developer first needs two touch tracks, one for each finger. Each track has a green touch down node and a red touch up node. The top track corresponds to the touch hitting the star, so the developer adds S symbols to those nodes. The bottom track corresponds to the touch hitting anywhere. To indicate that the touch hitting the star must come down first, the developer moves the green node of the bottom track to the red of the green node of the top track. The developer then vertically aligns the red nodes to indicate that the touches can come up in any order. The black lines connecting the green and red nodes indicate that the touches can move. The developer will want to execute code to rotate the object while both touches are moving. The developer specifies that the application should execute the rotate callback by adding a blue trigger arrow. Lastly, the developer associates the completion of the gesture with the end rotate callback. Proton will then convert the tablature to a regular expression for gesture matching. The developer might want to create gestures with repeated components, such as this delete gesture, where the first touch holds the delete button while the second touch can select objects to delete. The developer can specify this behavior using regular expression symbols. Grouping the second touch with a clean star indicates that it can repeatedly come down and up. Now we present three applications that we built with Proton. The shape manipulation application allows users to arrange objects to create a 2D scene. The sketching application allows users to create artistic masterpieces. EdgeWrite is a Unistroke text entry application.